Hi there. On behalf of the entire Children's Ministry staff, I'd like to thank you so much for volunteering to serve our children here. Thank you also for taking just a few minutes to watch this short video. This video is just part of our four-step security process that all staff and all volunteers working with children will go through here at Grace Chapel. First, you should have already received an email from Ministry Safe, which is a, a video link to our online sexual abuse awareness training. Secondly, you should have gotten this policies and procedures manual in an email form along with this video link. We've also asked you to fill out an application for us and return that to a children's ministry staff member. And then finally, all of us, including staff, undergo background checks regularly. This is all just to make sure that the environment is safe and secure for our children and for us. There are two reasons for this video. Number one, we want to make sure you realize that you are so valued. There are only seven children's ministry staff at Grace Chapel, but we serve almost 500 children every Sunday. And there's no way we can do it without you. You matter to us and we appreciate you. And the children really do appreciate you. I know that sometimes it's hard to know that when you're serving a baby or a two-year-old because they can't really verbalize what they feel. But your value as a vessel of God's love is truly immeasurable. The second reason for the video is just to go over a few procedural issues that are important. Number one, please, please be early for your shift. About 30 minutes early would be great. Um, this is so that if there are any last minute changes, your director can go over them with you or just get together and pray so that our hearts are ready and we're not just frazzled when the kids arrive. We can be ready with a smile and our hearts just open to, to be vessels for God. Number two, we'd like to ask you to just be modest. Working with children requires a lot of movement. So ladies, when you're getting dressed, do the mirror test. Bend over, stretch arms up, all of that. Make sure that your shirt's gonna keep you covered when you're playing with a two-year-old or talking to a fifth grader. And then let's not have um, any decals or writing on our shirts that are inappropriate. We don't wanna advertise alcohol or tobacco or any other ungodly messages with the children. Um, and then third, it is so important that if you're not gonna be able to show up on a Sunday that you get your own substitute. I would recommend having an alternate, someone in your life who knows that they're gonna fill in for you and you can just give them a quick call. Ask the director of your um, specific classroom whether there's a substitute list um, or the specific procedures for finding a sub. But here's the deal, we're all tempted to think, oh, if I don't show up, it's just me. They can do without me. But think about this, what if 20 people thought that? We would be so short-handed. And really, it's the kids that pay the price. We need you, you are valuable, and we really need for you to show up. Um, lastly, make sure that you read through the policies and procedures manual that was sent to you. There's a whole lot more information in there that will prepare you to serve. And again, we thank you so much. God bless you, we're praying for you, and we're looking forward to working with you. Thanks a lot. Hi volunteers, and you are being used as a vessel of God's love in their life. That's immeasurable. Cheese ball. Oh, there are two reasons for this video. Number one, we want you to know that we value you so much. We need to, you to partner. Start over. <laughs>